This is Physics for Grade 11, produced by Tigray Education Bureau, transmitted by Dimsuoyane Tigray National and FM radio satellites and social media, and also FM Makala 104.4. Physics for Grade 11. Presenter, Gaur Meskal Gabriel Hello, students. Students, in the past, you have learned about rotation in a fixed axis. Now, you will learn torque and angular acceleration. Torque is a turning effect. Torque is total moment acting on a body above the axis of rotation. It is measured by multiplying the force by its perpendicular distance from the axis. The equivalent quantity to the torque in the linear motion is the force. Torque is equal to force times perpendicular distance. Symbolically, it is tau is equal to capital F times capital R. Let's take example from your daily life. Students, you daily open and close the door. Suppose you open the door of your house by applying a force of 10 newton on the knob. If the knob with the door moves half a meter, how much is the torque applied? The given quantities are force 10 newton, distance half a meter, and both force and distance are perpendicular to each other. One is if you know the given quantities, it will be easy to calculate the required or the unknown quantity, that is torque. Solution. Torque is equal to force times perpendicular distance. That is, torque is equal to 10 newton times half a meter. Solving and simplifying, it will be 5 newton meter. Note that, in this case, newton meter is not equal to joule. Torque is a vector quantity, therefore, in determining the value of torque, one has to determine not only its magnitude, but also its direction. To determine the direction of the torque, we use the right hand rule. Pay attention. Right hand rule. Hold the index finger, the middle finger, and the thumb of your right hand at right angles. Take the displacement to be in the direction of the index finger and force to be in the direction of the middle finger. Then the direction of the torque will be in the direction that the thumb is pointing. I will repeat it once again. Take the displacement to be in the direction of the index finger, the force to be in the direction of the middle finger, and the direction of the torque will be in the direction that the thumb is pointing. Activity. Practice right hand rule just now. 30 seconds. Students, for further understanding, please see figure 4 right hand rule on page 121. Generally, to calculate the magnitude of tau or torque, we use the formula tau is equal to r cross f. That is magnitude of r times magnitude of f sine theta. If r and f, that means the displacement and force are perpendicular, sine theta will be 1. Therefore, torque will be simply r times f. In three-dimensional case, the vector product is expressed in terms of i, j, and k unit vectors. I hope you have identified the expression for torque. Now, let's pass to the next unit. Unit 6. Rotational motion. Rotational motion deals about objects at rotation. For every quantity in linear motion, there is equivalent quantity in rotational motion. The analogy in the quantities of the two types of motion, that is linear motion and rotational motion, 
is as follows. S represents linear displacement. Similarly, rotational motion theta represents angular displacement. V represents linear speed. Similarly, omega represents angular speed in rotational motion. A represents linear acceleration. In the same way, alpha represents angular acceleration. F represents force in linear motion. Torque tau represents torque turning effect in rotational motion. M mass in linear motion. I moment of inertia in rotational motion. P represents linear momentum. L represents angular momentum in rotational motion. W represents work done in linear motion. Similarly, the same W represents work done in rotational motion. Therefore, for every quantity in linear motion, there is equivalent quantity in rotational motion. In our next discussion, we will see the quantities listed as quantities of rotational motion. Work is expressed in terms of force and displacement. That is, work is equal to force times displacement. In similar way, work in rotational motion is expressed as work W is equal to torque tau times angular displacement theta. Aware that tau is placed in rotational motion as F is placed in linear motion. The unit of torque is written in Newton meter as that of work done. But Newton meter unit in torque is not called joule unlike for that of work done. Work done is result of scalar quantity. Therefore, its unit Newton meter Nm is equal to joule. But in the case of torque, Nm is vector product. It cannot be replaced by joule. The displacement in the case of torque is the angle through which the torque acts. Students, let's pass to the other quantity. The other quantity is angular acceleration. To understand the concept of angular acceleration, consider a flywheel that is rotating with angular velocity omega. When the rate of rotation of the flywheel begins to increase, it is experiencing an angular acceleration alpha. If its angular velocity increases uniformly by changing omega over a time t, its angular acceleration is given by alpha is equal to change in omega divided by change in time. The unit of alpha, that is angular acceleration, is radians per second square. There is a simple worked example. Pay attention again. A flywheel is rotating with an angular velocity of 4 radians per second. A force accelerates it uniformly to an angular velocity of 10 radians per second over 3 seconds. What is the angular acceleration of the flywheel? To solve this, first we identify the given quantities. That is, final omega, 10 radians per second, initial omega, 4 radians per second, and the change of time, 3 seconds. The required one is the angular acceleration alpha. Solution. Alpha angular acceleration is given by change in angular velocity divided by change in time. That is final angular velocity minus initial angular velocity over the time interval t. That is 10 minus 4 radian per second over 3 seconds. Simplifying, it gives 2 radians per second square. Students, please answer the following questions. Define angular acceleration in words. Time given, 20 seconds. I hope that you have answered the question. Well, here is the answer. Angular acceleration is the change in angular velocity divided by the time taken for the change. Now again, listen. There is another question. Define torque in words. Time given, 20 seconds. I hope that you have answered it. Well, here is the answer. A torque is a turning effect. Torque is the product of displacement and force. Students, if your answer is similar with the given answer, well done. Now, 
let's pass to the next topic. The next topic is rotational inertia and rotational kinetic energy. Students, in this subtopic, we will focus more on rotational inertia. As there is concept of mass in linear motion, there is equivalent quantity called rotational inertia and rotational motion. Its symbol is capital I. Definition. Rotational inertia is a measure of an object's resistance to change its speed of rotation over a certain time. It is also known as moment of inertia. Its relation with torque tau and angular acceleration alpha is I is equal to tau over alpha. That is, moment of inertia is equal to torque divided by the angular acceleration. The unit of moment of inertia I is kilogram meter square. The moment of inertia of a point mass and a thin cylindrical shell can be calculated by the same formula. That is, I is equal to capital M R square, where capital M is mass of the body. R is its distance from the axis of rotation. Students, differently shaped objects have different formula for their moment of inertia. See in your textbook on page 125 later about the formula. I will repeat it. See in your textbook on page 125 later about the formula of rotational inertia for different shaped bodies. Table 6.1 shows formula of rotational inertia when axis of rotation goes through center of the body. The objects that have different shape listed in the table are disc, solid sphere, hollow sphere, thin rod or bar, solid cylinder, and rectangular slab. The rotational equivalent of Newton's second law, F is equal to MA, is tau is equal to I alpha, where tau is the torque, I is moment of inertia, and alpha is the angular acceleration. The rotational kinetic energy of a body is given by the equation Ek is equal to half I omega squared. Ek represents kinetic energy, I moment of inertia, omega angular speed, where omega is the angular velocity. Remember that the kinetic energy is calculated as half mv square in linear motion. In this session, we discussed about rotational quantities like torque, angular acceleration, and moment of inertia. Now, we pass to the next topic. The next topic is rotational dynamics of a rigid body. As there are four kinematic equations in linear motion, there are also equivalent equations for rotational motion. Linear motion. V is equal to V initial plus 80. That means linear speed is equal to initial linear speed plus acceleration times time. Similarly, in rotational motion, omega is equal to omega initial plus alpha t, where omega represents angular speed, alpha angular acceleration. In linear motion, S is equal to V initial t plus half eight square. V initial, initial speed, S distance. Similarly, in rotational motion, theta is equal to omega initial t plus half alpha t square. Omega, angular speed, theta, angular displacement, and alpha, angular acceleration. V final square is equal to V initial square plus 2as. Similarly, in rotational motion, omega final square is equal to omega initial square plus 2 alpha theta. In linear motion, S is equal to initial speed plus final speed over 2 times time. That means average speed times time. In rotational motion, theta is equal to initial angular speed plus final angular speed over 2 times time. That is average angular speed times time. Students, to see how the formulas are applied to solve practical problems, 
See the worked example 6.9 on page 131. Dear students, let's summarize the main points of the session. Torque is the rotational effect of a force. Its magnitude is given by force times perpendicular distance. Symbolically, torque is expressed as tau is equal to r cross f. This means magnitude of r times magnitude of f times sine theta. Tau is maximum when theta is 90 degree. The angle of rotation is 90 degree. Alpha is the result of unbalanced torque and is given by alpha is equal to final angular speed minus initial angular speed over change of time and also can be found from the ratio of torque to moment of inertia alpha is equal to torque over moment of inertia we have two formulae to calculate alpha that is change in omega divided by change of time and again, torque divided by moment of inertia. The other point is the right hand rule. The right hand rule for the torque is simply holding the index finger, the middle finger, and the thumb of your right hand at right angles. Index finger shows displacement. Middle finger shows the force. Then the thumb will indicate direction of the torque. The next point is the angular quantities. The angular quantities are theta, omega, alpha, torque, moment of inertia, angular momentum, and work. What is theta? Theta is angular displacement. Omega represents angular speed. Alpha represents angular acceleration. Tau represents turning effect of a force, that is torque. I represents moment of inertia. L represents angular momentum. W represents work done. The other point is I. I is calculated in different formulae for differently shaped objects. Example, I of cylindrical shell is given by Capital I is equal to capital M times capital R square. If it is a disk, I is given by half M R square. Therefore, for differently shaped objects, there are different formulas of I. The next point, rotational kinetic energy. Rotational kinetic energy is calculated as EK is equal to half I omega square. I represents moment of inertia and omega is the angular speed. Finally, there is assignment to you. Please take a note. 1. Read all the worked examples in your textbook. 2. Answer the review questions on pages 124 and 128. 3. Practice the right hand rule for torque direction. 4. Prepare your own short note for topics 6.1, 6.3 and 6.4 in your textbook. I appreciate your attentive listening. For today, with this we come to the end. Until next week, bye.